Today I'm going to show you how to connect your iConnectivity interface to your computer with RTP. I'm going to show you two different ways on how to do that. The same is going to be true for Windows. Uh, you'll need the RTP MIDI setup application at iConnectivity.com slash downloads. So let's navigate over to our audio MIDI setup and that's where we're going to set it up all the all the stuff that you need from the computer side. So let's go and hit our spotlight search. We're going to type in audio and we can find audio MIDI setup and we're going to click on that. So this might not be the window that shows up here. Uh, you might have to go to window and then show MIDI studio. Then we're going to click on this little globe, which is configure network. Um, the other option is it could look like this little box here and actually show up with a little globe on it saying network. Those are the same. It just depends on which version of Mac OS you are on. So let's click on that guy. And this is the window that's actually going to look. It's going to look the same on Windows and Mac. So I'm going to put that down here and I'll just move this over a little bit. So the first thing we want to do is create a session and that's how they're going to connect. So we're going to create the session by hitting this little plus button and we're going to give this name session one, two, three. So this local name up here is what's actually going to show on your software or your DAW, whatever you're using on your computer. Um, so make this a name that uh, makes sense for you and your software. The bonus your name can also technically be pretty much anything, but just make sure uh, that you're very specific on how you're spelling things, if you're spacing things, that kind of deal, because this is how it's gonna connect to your interface. Um, also note, once you finish typing this in, that you wanna click out of the bonjour name slot. If you do not click out, it probably will default and go back to whatever the setting was before you changed it. So just a heads up. Now we're gonna click enable. So once we enable, 405 shows up here, and then we can connect a session to it. So I have my MIDI 4 Plus right here. Here's the first port, and we can just click connect, and it'll connect over here. So that's the first way of doing that. That works for a MIDI 4 Plus, a PA12, Mio XM, anything that has an Ethernet uh, connection from my connectivity. That's the first way of doing it, and that's kind of the main way, the easiest way to set it up and get something going real quick. Here's the second way where you actually have the interface is connecting uh, to the computer. In this case, we have the computer, it's already set up and we're making the connection to the interface. And the other option, the interface is making the connection to the computer. The advantage to this is that if your computer's off and you restart it, you don't have to come back in here and click on the ports and re-add them. Uh, in the second option, the interface will continuously look for the computer as soon as the computer's back on it'll make that connection you won't have to go back in and, and make the connection so what we're going to do is we're going to create another session so it's going to be a very similar process overall we're just going to do some work in oracle for x series so we create the session we're going to call it um session 456 we're going to copy that and you can see the bonjour name right now is session 123 which we don't want because it'll override the other one so we want to paste it right in there in the Bollinger name and then click out. We're gonna enable it. And then we'll just go in uh, and we can go to our MIDI 4 Plus if you want. So if you go to your MIDI 4 Plus, you can see the first one's connected to session one, two, three. We'll go to the second one. And we're gonna change this from responder to initiator. And then it's gonna ask for name. We're gonna pop in this name. And then we're gonna hit save. And there you go, you see it's connected now to session 456 and you can see that there's a connection made over here. And again, the exact same thing is true if you're going to say your Mio XL, go into RTP, uh, we can switch it from responder to initiator, put in the name, hit save, and it should make the connection. There we go, uh, session 456 and you can see it's connected over here on this one. And those are the two options that you can do. Um, also note that you'll want to, these sessions or these MIDI ports can only be used um, on one session. So you can't have it in this session and this session. They'll cancel out, you'll get an error. 
Uh, you also can't use the same MIDI port on one computer and the second computer as they will cancel out. The first one will, will take it. So just a heads up. So if you use port two here, you might want to use port three on another computer. Hopefully that helps you out with setting up RTP.